I'm Deborah Wolf with Lake TV and we are out and about at the annual Spring Inwater Boat Show brought to you by the Lake of the Ozarks Marine Dealers Association. So stick around, we're going to go on down the docks and see what you need to have the best time possible at the Lake of the Ozarks this summer. And we're joined by Mike Atkinson with the Lake Ozark Marine Dealers Association, the group responsible for bringing this incredible event to the Lake of the Ozarks. Mike, you got to be happy with this weekend's turnout. Oh, the weather is great, and that always makes a big difference in an in-water boat show. It does, and especially since this is the one that launches our season, in effect, it kind of is a, our big hello to all of our visitors at the Lake of the Ozarks each year. It is. You know, this is the third weekend in April, and it is sort of a kickoff to, uh, to the season down here. Absolutely. And what year are we on now with the Inwater Boat Show? Uh, well, this is actually the 32nd year of it wow. from uh, going back to the Tantara days, the Easter Boat Show. And you were telling me, if you count the boat dealers along with the accessories and the other vendors, you have a, a full house here this weekend. There is. There's 40 different exhibitors here, and uh, 20 of them are the local marine dealers here at the lake, which represents, you know, I don't know the exact number, but probably somewhere around 40 to 50 different major brands of boats and PWCs. The other thing that's so exciting about this event in particular is not only does it launch the spring season, but also we get to see some new technology. One of which is the flyboard is new this year, get out of the water. <laughs> yeah, that is really neat. If anybody hasn't seen that, it's worth coming to the show just to see that go, go on. Well, we always look forward to the spring in water boat show and then also the fall in water boat show. But there's another event that you're involved in, the Lake Ozark Marine Dealers are involved in, that everyone looks forward to that's getting bigger and bigger every year, and it's coming up this summer. That's correct. Aquapalooza 2013 will be held right here at Dog Days, and it is July 20th. And you know, that is the largest single boating event here at the lake. Hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of people are here with their boats. Well, it's been fun watching it grow as well as the lake, and I know it's kind of a little different than the other Lambda events for you because it's the one that you get to sit back and relax. That's true. I don't play a major role in that, but it is a great event. Well, we certainly appreciate the Marine Dealers for everything they do for the lake. They're great ambassadors for the lake, and we always look forward to seeing you guys every spring. We look forward to seeing a lot of the Marine Dealers at Aquapalooza, and then again in the fall. Absolutely. We'll be at Captain Ron's in September, and I want everybody to remember every ticket that we sell, we give a dollar of that to Kids Harbor, a local charity here at the lake, and they do great work. Absolutely. It goes back to the Marine Dealers being more than just business people in this community. You really are ambassadors for the community as well. Absolutely. You know, we try to stay involved in just about everything. Daryl, I keep saying this time and time again, is how it used to be when you had water sports, they looked great, but they were still kind of just functional looking. Everything is getting sexier and sexier and sleeker and sleeker, and certainly jet skis are part of that trend. Yeah, we have, I mean, the industry's gone just crazy with the stuff that we offer. Our models right now are 300 horsepower. They have cruise control, power trim, you know, boarding ladder, reverse. You can go out and just cruise these things 25, 30 mile an hour, or you can cut it up. They do it all reliable performance, and that's that's what Kawasaki's known for. Well, they fall, of course, into the category of personal watercraft, and it seems to me like they're getting more and more personal all the time. They have storage bins, all sorts of accessories that really you can make it your own, and it can fit whatever personal watercraft style one has. Yeah, we have um, definitely gone to the the boat is a must here at the lake, but the best investment and in fun is a jet ski, and you got to get the Kawasaki jet ski out there just gas and go and and have at it that's what everybody wants to do when they come down they've got to get out on the jet ski so well and from my standpoint being an individual down here without a boat I've often thought I need to just get a jet ski then I can go meet my friends with the boats and you know or sometimes I just want to tool on over to the local venue on my own and it's perfect little watercraft for that yeah all the restaurants and the places that you'd want to go they have the easy on lifts now that you just pull right up it's actually e easier than tying up the boats and and they are very quick and easy to, to do and that's that's part of it. Let's talk about some of the safety features as well because I know that's something that increases every year and they enhance every year the safety of them. Yeah we have things the off throttle steering for the inexperienced driver we have a learning modes or learning keys that you can give to the younger people or 
like I say, for the adults riding on the back, they don't have to do a Houdini act to stay on it because they are rather quick if you want them to be, and they're very versatile, like you talked about tubing and skiing without an exposed prop, and you're more down there with them. You know, you can, it's kind of taken over the, what that part of the boats will do. Well, and the great part about Bridgeport is it's located very close to where we are now, right off the Grand Glaze Bridge in Osage Beach. And yep. if someone doesn't own one, they can rent one from Bridgeport. Yeah, we uh, we are definitely 50-50. We sell the Kawasaki jet skis and been doing that now 37 years, I believe. And then as well as that, we've been renting boats and jet skis there. We have uh, the new Sea Rays. We have some new Harris Tritunes. Um, as well as uh, you know the jet skis to rent uh, with a great center location. We're right in the middle of everything, so it's easy to get to, but very close to the state park to get out where there is smooth water from the rentals. Uh, you know, in the great area of the house looking and that stuff, uh, rent a boat, get on a jet ski and have some fun. But we you know, definitely should look us up right at the end of the bridge and just look for the jet skis and you'll see it in some green. It doesn't get much easier to find the Bridgeport, but if folks want to want to find you online, what's that web address? Well, for the sales, it's bridgeportjetski.com. And, of course, on the, uh, the rental side, just go to bridgeportboatrental.com. Larry, you have really exciting news at Iguana with the introduction of new boats into your inventory. Yeah, absolutely. We just uh, recently picked up Cruisers Yachts and Cruiser Sport Series. And uh, basically, that's our bow rider and our cruiser line. We also picked up Hurricane Deck Boat, as well as Godfrey Pontoon Line, which includes Sweetwater, Sampan, and Aqua Patio. So you have something for everyone, really, at Iguana right now. Absolutely. We have everything from a 20-foot bow rider or a 20-foot pontoon all the way up to a 56-foot cruiser. Yeah, yeah. So what intrigued you about carrying a line of cruisers? Well, we were really looking for a quality company that represented us as much as we would represent them. And Cruisers, when we went to the factory, it was just immaculate and the quality control that they had up there was just right on and spot on for what we were looking for. And why the step into selling newer boats as well as your pre-owned inventory? Well, we've always had, we've had the pre-owned for about a year now and we noticed that a lot of people loved our pre-owned inventory but they're also looking for a new boat. We had some people that would want a new boat and we just wanted to be able to appeal to that customer as well. And in terms of you sell them obviously but you also have always had a very great name, very well respected name in the lake area for rentals as well. Oh yeah absolutely. We've been on this lake. Uh, we have three locations uh, that we rent from. Uh, we have our HQ at the zero, we have our Sunset at 18 and we also have the Mama's location over at the five and a half mile marker. Okay. And tried and true year in and year out rentals, and of course now with the sales of the inventory, as long as pre-owned inventory, really solidifying your existence here in the lake area. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've been growing with the lake, and you know the the boating market's picking back up. Families are coming down again, and we're renting them out and selling them boats, and it's it's a fantastic experience uh, all around. I have to applaud you as well because it seems to me every time I see Iguana opening a new location, you don't just you just don't make the surroundings of your business nice. You come into the community and you have a great storefront. You have a great appearance in the lake community as well. You really keep things very clean and sharp looking. Yeah, absolutely. And we, we really take pride in the, the looks of our property. We, we acquired some property recently that we're going to be donating for the Offshore Super Series. Uh -huh. And we spent tons of money into the excavation work to you know make that ready and visible so you don't have dead trees and dead vegetation around. So you're a good business neighbor as well. Absolutely, and you know we're trying to bring more more tourism, you know, to our location as well as our surrounding neighbors. Excellent. And to help folks find you when they come down to visit you, let's give them let go over those locations again as well as how they can find you online. Well, you can find us at iguanawatersports.com, and uh, from that web page you can actually access any of our other businesses. And again, we sell boats from our HQ location, which is at the zero mile marker. We also have a rental location there at the five and a half mile marker as well as the 18 mile marker. And I would assume that you're like most of the marine dealers here at the lake, you're happy to take someone out on the water for a test drive. Oh yeah, absolutely. Any excuse to get out on the water is a good excuse for me. <laughs> you and me both. I think we'll go do that here in just a little bit, right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, thanks so much for chatting with us today. Good luck this summer, this season. Looks like you're off to a great start. I appreciate you guys stopping by and chatting with us. Ed? 
tell me about this center bow boat. You don't see a lot of them at the Lake of the Ozarks, but I, I love them. When I go down to Florida, I'm always in one. I'm so glad to see one here. We're going to hopefully change that. We uh, just brought this boat up. This is hole number two by Sensation. The first one debuted at the Mammy Boat Show, and we're really excited about it. We uh, signed up as a dealer with them down there, and uh, we have this show, the boat here at the boat show and we're uh, hoping to see a lot more of them down here at Lake of the Ozarks. And we do have other dealers at the lake that sell the open bows, but they've been few and far between and so it's nice to see them coming more and more into the boating lifestyle here at the lake. It's really the perfect boat for here at the lake. It's, we kind of call it the SUV of uh, boats. Um, it's a cruiser, it's an open bow, it's a runabout, it's a performance boat. This boat will run 65 miles an hour, handle the waves at Lake of the Ozarks great. The cabin has seven foot five of headroom. Uh -huh. It's 13 foot long. It's got a front layout pad in it. Uh, it's got a dive ladder off the back. It's really a boat that you can use on the lake to do whatever you want to do. I think when people think of the center consoles, they picture down in Florida and the keys and the fishing vessels really is mainly what they're used for down there. They're not quite as sleek as, as this boat is. I mean, this adds a whole new styling to the center console. A lot of the boats you'll see down there, the CVs, Contenders, Intrepids are more of a solid hull side. They don't have the steps in the boat. This boat has the uh, stepped hull. The uh, boat will do, like I said, 65 miles an hour, hold 285 gallons of gas. Mm -hmm. And what we did to this boat is what we call it, is we defished it. Okay. There's no fishing equipment on this boat. Okay. Uh, there's no rod holders and no torpedo tubes. Okay. There's LED cup holders, 15-inch uh, Garmin screens that play full screen video. Wow. And it's full of LED lights. The whole bottom of the boat lights up red, as well as the inside. So therefore, I would assume it's got a pretty mean stereo system. Yeah, it does have a pretty mean stereo system. Just enough at Waves and Wheels did the stereo system in it, and uh, it turned out amazing. I'm sure, I'm sure. Tell me what it is about a center console that adds stability in the water. Is it having the center console, or are there other properties to the boat that give it stability? Well, the biggest thing is it's 10 foot wide. You know, a lot of your boats are going to be eight, eight foot six. This boat's 10 foot wide, it's 34 foot long. So it has the length to span the waves and the beam helps out with the ride tremendously as well as the step tall. Now let's talk about these motors because those are some pretty big bad motors on the back of that. Those are Mercury 300 Verados. Uh, they're matched with some vinyl to uh, kind of complement the boat. The Great for any time you want to go boating. The, the great thing about the Mercury Verados is they're supercharged and when they're running you can't even hear them running. They're, they're extremely quiet, uh, great around the dock, they're, and they're all digital. There's no cables, there's no anything running to them. Uh, the shifting and the throttle is all done by uh, sensors, and it's all digital. So it's very responsive. Now that's impressive that there's no cables. What's it like to dewinterize these? It's, it's great. You just drop the boat in the lake and you go. There's no winterization. So these are true outboard motors? These are true outboard motors, and in the maintenance on them, is another thing that you'll save on is the oils on them is really easy to change. There's a drain plug on the outside of the motor. There's an oil filter on it, and that's really all you have to do to them. Change the oil on them and go. Well, I know that you you talk about center consoles kind of being the SUV of boating, but I think this one's pretty sexy, a lot sexier than an SUV. Yeah, right. Well, it's a high-end SUV. I guess maybe a Porsche, <laughs> yeah. something like that. Yeah, we'll it's a... It. It's a, well, the way we have this boat decked out, it's going to be a great boat for down here at Lake of the Ozarks. Well, I tell you what, I know you have to go talk to some folks, but we'll come back and see you and let you take us for a ride this year. How's it sound? Sounds great. Okay. And we're here with Ozark Yacht Club, which if the Lake of the Ozarks is the motorboat capital, the speedboat capital of the state of Missouri, which I personally think it is, no scientific data there. It's just my opinion. You've got to be the sailboat capital here at the Lake of the Ozarks because really it's home to some of the nicest sailboats you're going to see on a lake where you seldom see a sailboat. That's right. We're kind of bringing it back and we're getting to be known as the sailboat marina here at the Lake of the Ozarks. But we, we do stress that we're power and sail at Ozark Yacht Club. And you do. You have something for everyone. But I just want to stick with the sailboats for a moment because the other thing I love about Ozark Yacht Club is if I wanted to come down there and learn how to sail, I could. That's right. We have a full-fledged uh, ASA is a certified sailing school that you can sign up for and up to four, six students go out with an instructor and it's actually different than a lot of the sailing schools in that you have smaller uh, classes so you get to learn a lot more hands-on. So you, small time in the class, a lot of time out on the water and that's really where you're going to learn your experience to sail. You know that is such a great point because
because one thing that goes through my mind is as opposed to you're on vacation, you're, you know, some seaside community, it's too intimidating there to go learn how to sell. But when I'm at your place, it's so comfortable. I always think this is a great place to learn if you've never done it before because it's, it's everyone's so open and welcoming. That's exactly right. We have actually four different instructors, so they vary all in, in experience themselves. Uh, we have also the classes go from the very beginning all the way up to bare boat charters where you can actually, if you, you know, step up to those classes, then you can go out on your own and go down the Bahamas and bare boat a boat, take it out and just say, hey, I learned how to do this Lake of the Ozarks. So, Absolutely. Yeah. And you guys have a couple of regattas every year, is that correct? Yes, we do. And we actually invite you to go to OzarkYachtClub.com and go to the Ozark Sailing Club, which is the home at Ozark Yacht Club, and uh, they'll tell you all about the schedule and when they are. We are right now in our spring sailing season, so every other Saturday we have regattas. Had one yesterday, didn't have any wind, but we had a regatta and had a great time. Had about uh, 15 boats participate, and uh, that th to see those, it's actually free. You can come down to the Ozark Yacht Club, get up on our Spinnaker Room Point there, and you can see them right at the start and the finish line. It's a lot of fun just to watch if you don't know really what it's all about. It's a great way to learn. It's like watching a ballet on the water, don't you think? That's very well put. Yeah, I never thought of it that way. You know, uh, uh, ownership has always said to us the great thing about sailing is if you look going to anybody's lake home or beach home, there's not any pictures of power boats in their house. There's always <laughs> pictures of sailboats. So we invite everybody to bring their cameras down because you can get some fantastic pictures. Well, while we're on the subject of coming down to visit you, let's talk about how we get there by water and land. Sure. We're at the one mile marker just around Duckhead Point. You can't miss us. And then also just off Business 54 in Lake Ozark, we have a brand new entrance there. You just go right down by the Ozark Yacht Club sign. It's across the street from the School of the Osage. And let's go back to that you're very hospitable to power boats and motor boats as well because people can actually dock out at the Ozark Yacht Club and stay on their boat. Sure, we have bo a boat slips for rent. We actually just put in a new slip uh, a boat dock that has about eight slips in it. And I think we're about 60% oh, occupied in that particular slip. But those are 16 by 44s. And I will uh, stand here right now in the beautiful sunshine <laughs> and say we do have the best amenities of any yacht club here at Lake of the Ozarks. We invite you all to come down and take a look at and see what we have. We'll take you on a tour and just uh, even have a nice lunch at our Lakeside Cafe. Well, you know I've been known to enjoy your amenities. Yes, yeah. So let's talk about your Lakeside Cafe because it's one of my favorites. You bet. And we've actually extended our hours this year. So we're open till about 6 o'clock. Yeah, the, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so uh, we're a breakfast and lunch cafe. And we're actually a lot different than like a bar restaurant. We're actually a nice little cafe. You can get a cocktail if you like to have one. We actually have... Uh, uh, I'm just going to say mean Bloody Marys. Yeah, very <laughs> nice Bloody Marys. You like those. Yeah, and mimosas. We're very... Mimosas. Makes a very nice mimosas mimosas and uh, you can sit out there on the patios right above almost lake level and uh, just enjoy the day and we invite everybody you know it's a great family atmosphere and you've got a great shop there people can do all sorts of great merchandise yeah them. thanks for bringing that up just at 1800 bagnell dam just uh, right across from uh, jj twigs there we've got what we call the ship shop and this has all kind of nautical uh, gifts and decor for uh, your home your boat even we have a lot of people come in too and they say hey we found you online at oycnautical.com and we ship things every day something's going out to either believe this or not new england Southern California, even Florida. So it's, you know, we've got a lot of things there to take a look at at OYC Nautical, or you can see them there in the ship shop right in. You also have something that really is rather rare for marinas at the lake. You have a couple of party rooms there that you rent out. Yeah, we really do. Part of the Ozark Yacht Club itself is we're uh, basically, somebody said it the other day, you're like a country club on the lake, and that's what we are. So we do have two giant banquet rooms. One holds about 150 people. Another one's a little more intimate. We call the Spinnaker Room that overlooks the lake uh, that holds about four 45 to 50. The Kiwanis have a weekly meeting there. They have their luncheon. And uh, we invite other groups that might be interested to give us a call to check that out for their weekly meetings. But uh, we had a birthday party of about 60 last night at the Anchor Room. So uh, it's a great uh, full function room. It really is. Well, before I let you go, I want you to explain something to me, a term you mentioned your new haul out service now i'm assuming that's not for guests who overstay their welcome uh, no 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 uh, no hopefully we don't have to do that no actually right now oyc has a capability of hauling out boats up to 65 feet and about to uh, 80 000 pounds so that means boats in the range of 51 52 55 feet we can haul them out do bottom jobs do any kind of maintenance that might have to be done and also any kind of uh, buffing and waxing that type of thing too 
I mean, there's always something going on at Ozark Yacht Club, and so I know you said it a couple of times, but tell folks once again how they can get a hold of you by okay. land, by water, and... By land, sea, and air, is that what you right. say? I okay. think so, All and right. online. You so. bet. Go online. It's OzarkYachtClub.com. Our phone number is 573-552-8401, and if you want to come by land, you go off of Business 54, just at the top of the strip in Lake Ozark, you look for the OIC sign, just follow the road down, and we're at the one-mile marker by water, just in the... It's a Jennings Branch Cove. Hello, this is Paul Morris with PDQ Marine. I'm out here at the boat show. We've got one of our low boats, our new model. It's the X250. It's set up a little more for skiing, but also performance. You can go up to a 300 horse on it, and it'll put you just under 60 mile an hour. All the low boats come with lifetime warranties on all the welds. All your aluminum, every weld on it is warranted for life. Your decking's warranted for life. We're out here at the boat show ready to have a good time with everybody. If you want to find us by land, we're at PDQ Marine at the one mile marker. We're inside a Yacht Haven Marina. Come down and see us at PDQ Marine. We've got the pontoons, tritunes, but also we've got fishing boats. We've got tritunes anywhere from 22,000 on. Uh, we've got fishing boats and deep Vs, so we'd love to see you down there. We're the Wake Tower dealer for here at Lake of the Ozarks. We install Wake Towers on any make and model of pontoon, anything you got. If you've bought one, want to put a tower on it, new or used, we can do it for you. Get you all fixed up on that end. We also have service. We service anything Mercury, Volvo, and we do all outboards. So we'd love to have your business. Please, please come and see us at PDQ Marine in Yacht Haven Marina at 573 365-5900. PDQ Marine, you can reach us at pdqmarineservice.com or our phone number is 573-365-5900. What's new and exciting at Tritune Town? Well, the Tritunes, of yes, course. Absolutely. So we carry uh, both the Manitou brand down here in the end, the two black ones, and then uh, we've got the two JCs in the water as well at the in-water boat show, uh, having a great time, and they're performing extremely well, you know, getting over 50 miles an hour on quite a few of these boats. Wow, that's really important right yeah, now yeah. with guests going to and fro. But the Tritunes, we talk about this every time, Tim, they just get better and better and oh, faster right. and faster on the water, right? Faster and faster and so many different layouts and, and great handling, and it does excellent in the rough water. So, it, you know, you don't even hardly feel the bumps. You can just fly over most of the stuff out there you know when it gets really huge obviously you need to take your time or go parallel to it but uh, for that's the one of the biggest selling points of the tritunes is the smooth ride in the rough water and of course you put the whole family on there and stay right. out there all day right easy to get on and off and they got so many different things some of them of course have barbecue pits yeah. um, uh, bar setups <laughs> um, refrigerators um, loungers um, the uh, swivel seats, recliners, just anything. You know, uh -huh. the, the, it's one of the biggest problems for uh, Tritune Town and me as the owner is to decide um, what layout to get. There's yeah. so many different ones. Yeah. Or what That's colors. a good problem to have, by yeah. the way. <laughs> now, let me ask you, we're talking the spring of 2013 right now. Anything exciting in the financial side? Yeah, we've got some pretty great rates. We can get rates as low as 4% uh -huh. and uh, 4.99 for 15 years has probably been the most uh, most often uh, rate that we've been getting lately. You yeah. can't argue with that. Yeah. Now, so, Tim, how can our viewers reach you if they want to come out and take a look and take a test drive and you know, try to themselves? Oh, yeah, www.trytune.com. You can look at both our inventory and, and see our phone numbers and see our uh, uh, actual boats that we have in stock or set something up. We also our phone number is 573-302-7539. And we also have a toll-free, 866-466-9275. Excellent. Well, we always love coming out and checking out the tri -tunes, and we'll come out and take a test drive ourselves sometime. <laughs> that you better. <laughs> Mark Brick, open bow seems to be the word of the day here at the In Water Boat Show. Right now, it is the word of the day, and it's, the bow riders are the king of the lake anymore. Um, we're sitting, actually, we're about 36 feet from the back of the boat right now. We're in a 35-foot open bow uh, made by Cobalt Boats out of Neotache, Kansas. Uh, this thing is just a, a mega ship where people are kind of saying, I don't know, I'm tired of having a 50-foot or the big boats. You just have a lot of people want to get. This is how you use your space, and uh, this is really the hit of the show. I want to say it's stately. It is stately. It's, it's, you know, yes. It, it's not a huge cruiser, but it's not small at all. It's almost 35 feet, right? That's right. Well, you know, you get into like a 42 uh, cru uh, cruiser, 
where this thing probably could seat 25 people, where you'd have to get to like a 60 foot something else to get this this amount of seating room and that's why uh, it's done so well. I know boating is very much an individual preference what kind of lifestyle people look forward to on the lake. I am I love cruisers I always kind of feel like I'm rocking back and forth right. on them and but boats like this and the open bows especially the longer ones you, I feel a little more stability and like you said you can accommodate so many people. Well, the Indian has a lot of functionality. I mean, on, on this one, even though it's an open bow, it does have a cabin. You can get uh, generator air conditioning, which are some of the nice things, um, you know, dealing with like a bigger boat. It does have its, its own separate toilet, the head, uh, the water system, shower. Uh, actually, the, this is the first year um, Bluetooth, you know, like the stereo right now, I can control the thing just like on a car. So what's happening in the industry, especially at Lake of the Ozarks, is really people are trying to find, I mean, and this always goes on every year, they're trying to find the exact ideal boat you know, because you know it gets rough here on Saturday, so you're saying, okay, I need a bigger boat to handle the waves, and so the so the, the progression's been we're going to a bigger boat, and now all of a sudden it's like, well, I need more space. I like to have a bunch of people, so it just seems like this is the direction the industry's going, and uh, you know, Cobalt being an innovator, you know, we're here first. Talk to me about the back to the point of the lake being a little bit rough, Mark, because I know in the past, and I mean several years in the past, if you had an open bow. Your passengers could get a bit of a beating sometime. Are they more stable now than in years past? Well, you're just starting to get, um, with, with the technology that they're doing, with the 21 deg degree uh, dead rise, the weight um, ratios, uh, with they have an extended, uh, they call it extended running surface on the cobalt that keeps uh, the plane times down okay. very smooth. Okay. And, uh, you know, with cobalt, you know, the, the, the feeling of a smooth ride, you know, there's no rattles, shakes, shimmies, doors aren't popping open and, and that type of stuff. So it's, uh, yeah, they've come a long way. Uh, in the recent years. And of course if people want to go a little ways to come see you, you're right on off Highway W. And what mile marker? They're going to come to Village Marina where they're going to find a whole lot of activities to do. Let's talk about Village Marina for a moment. Okay. Well we have uh, Village Marina that has 200 wet slips um, ranging from 32 feet all the way up to 60 feet. We lease those, those out. Uh, we have full service department, 24 hour fuel, 24 hour, uh, hour pump outs. Up on the uh, on A dock, which is the first dock that you get to on the outside or the main channel side, um, we have public uh, customer parking, so everyone can just pull in. And actually, it's covered docks. We have uh, power pedestals, so if you have a cruiser, you want to pull up and not leave the gen run all the time, just plug right into our pedestal. Oh, and uh, you know, some people have been known to uh, you know stay, spend the night if they have that type of boat <laughs> and just call it a day. Um, we have the boathouse, and we've ch changed that whole thing up. A whole brand new menu. Um, we've remodeled the restrooms up at the restaurant. And for those of you who are regulars at the boathouse, we just added a, a pool heater. Last year, wow. um, you know, we uh, filled that pool through a, a well, so it's always 54 degrees, so we've uh, added a pool heater to... <laughs> cool spring water. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been wildly successful, and it's helped, uh, do, you know, I think we only have like two slips available throughout the whole place, and it's, it keeps the place uh, pretty active and a lot of fun for a lot of people. Welcome back to Lake TV. I'm Deborah Wolf. We're coming to you from the Lake of the Ozarks Marine Dealers Boat Show at Dog Days Bar and Grill here in Osage Beach, Missouri. And we've been down the dock talking with our local marine dealers looking at the latest in the boating lifestyle, whether it be personal watercraft, cruisers, runabouts, or pontoons, or even tri-tunes. So now we're going to take a walk along the pier and see what some of our other exhibitors have to offer by way of accessories for your boating lifestyle. And we are here with a very special product. Now, we had some situations on the lake last year that many lakes across the country, anytime there's water and docks, it's a bit of a scary situation. And you two gentlemen came up with the, the really the perfect fixture for every dock that will help save lives. So who wants to tell me about it? Well, I can. We came up with a dock lifeguard product. What the dock lifeguard does, it measures for any hazardous electricity on or around your dock. So it could be coming from your dock or your neighbor's dock. When that happens, we send out an alarm and a bright flashing strobe to let people know the water is not safe. I was surprised to find out that there's no ongoing inspection requirement in terms of electrical on docks. Pretty much once it's on the water, the owners required to take a, take a look at that and care for that themselves. There's really no governing body that comes out to look at it. Right. They actually, Ameren UE has now put in effect anytime somebody changes their dock permits or applies for a new dock permit, now that they're going 
to have to have the electrical permit to go along with it as people are changing property and hands. And eventually it's already in the talks that they're going to make it mandatory every dock on the lake be inspected and get it up to code to get them safe for everything after the last year's. And, and let's be very clear here as to what the dynamic is involved that we're talking about because really we're discussing something to where your neighbor's dock could have a short in it and it can affect you several feet away if you get in the water is that right yes that's correct we've had um, i actually investigated those issues that happened last year we've had voltage 150 yards away from the dock that actually had the problem you know which encompasses four or five docks each way typically in a residential area to where this thing here will cover you know, approximately up to 200 feet um, you know, so it'll catch the neighbors, you know, depending on where the electricity is coming from. Interesting. Yeah. It started when uh, the, we heard about the desolate last July and we started working on a solution. We knew we could come up with something and we worked. We've been testing all winter long and now we have a, a patent pending on the product. We've launched the product and uh, Todd at Bennett Electric, he's our primary distributor. So anybody that's wanting one, we can you can actually call Todd at Bennett Electric or uh, myself at, at Doc Realty and we can get you hooked up. And Todd is actually offering a spring special where he will come in and install it and give you a free dock inspection and tell you what isn't up to code. So when we get done, your dock is going to be safe and anything changes, our dock lifeguard will let you know. So our dock lifeguard will always be on duty. So then the message is you don't have to be afraid to call. Exactly. You know, everyone has got to be worried about what is going to be this horrible surprise I'm going to have when they come out. But what's the worst case scenario? You're going to come out and you're going to say, okay, there's some issues you need to address. Right. We're, basically what we're doing, we're offering free dock inspections for people just so we don't ever have to deal with this again you know the, the issues that we've had and uh, you know it's free you know it doesn't cost a dime so just give us a call exactly doc realty is is a forward-thinking company you founded doc realty because yet again you saw a need absolutely yes and it was that same mindset yes yes that I saw a need you know I when those deaths happen I go we can solve this I wish I would have came up with the idea a year earlier and you know we would have had more people around right now and the big thing is the people with the, themselves their kids their grandkids their pets we can save lives here just get put a doc lifeguard on your system and help save some lives well, gentlemen I also think it's a great example of how Lake Area businesses join forces not only to provide a service for the community but also to help the business community grow in the Lake Area as well Hi, good afternoon. This is Bob May. I'm Bob from Bob's No Wake Zone Boating Radio Show. And uh, what I do every week is I bring listeners to our radio stations and also on the internet at bobsnowakezone.com. I bring them a one-hour show that's uh, basically information about safe boating, about clean water, about boating education. Also, I do product reviews of aftermarket products for boats and boaters to use. I take the products and I play with them on my boat or install them on my boat and then I report on those products so that other boaters might uh, enjoy what those products do for us. Uh, the show is on once a week, uh, Saturday mornings from 7 to 8. You can listen to it right off the internet, tunein.com. Any way you can get to the internet, you can just put in there bobsnowakezone.com and you'll find the show. We talk mostly about Lake of the Ozarks, probably two-thirds of every show is about Lake of the Ozarks, things going on, events on the water, things for people to do with their boats. But I also then every week try to feature something from another part of the country. Might be from the Chesapeake Bay, might be from out around San Diego, might be from the Gulf Coast, might be from the Great Lakes, might be from the Keys in Florida or Alaska. Anything having to do with recreational boating is what I like to cover and bring to my audiences every week on the show. I invite you to come listen to my program. Uh, come check out my website too, bobsnowakezone.com. That's where you'll find links for the radio show and you can listen live. Or if you miss the show on Saturday mornings, I have everything archived in the on-demand doc box. You click on that, take you in, you'll see all the shows from about the last three years that are in there and you can listen by topic. My name is Bill Hervey with Del Sol Boat Lighting and uh, my, it's my wife's company. We uh, uh, thought of this idea a couple of years ago and finally pulled the trigger on it recently. And what this product is, it's uh, made of boat upholstery. So it's milder resistant, water resistant. It's inside is, is cleaned pea gravel. And uh, that of course has our logo on it. And uh, it contains a solar light like you buy in any garden center. And the, the concept uh, came about because uh, we had spent the night in the boat. And uh, if you're coving out at night, you're at anchor, 
need to have your anchor light on and even the back of a cove for safety and, 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 and you know, water patrol reasons. And uh, you know, the next morning you're thinking, please start because you know, you've used the battery, or you've used your, your gen set, your generator, and of course that produces noise pollution as well as carbon monoxide, and that's dangerous, of course. But clean solar is just that. It's, uh, it's renewable, let it charge in the boat all day long, and then uh, you're, you're ready to go all night long. And uh, if your boat is 39 feet, 4 inches, one in the stern, if you're 39 feet, 5 inches, you need one at the stern, and then one at the mast or on top of the roof as well. But uh, that's where it came from. Uh, of course, they're fantastic. We, we haven't been boating yet this year. I'd love to go today, but we've got uh, this wonderful event, beautiful weather. But uh, we've been using it on our deck. It's fantastic on decks, patios, um, uh, tailgating, go to a Mizzou game, plop that on your table with your, with your snacks and beverages. And it's a great conversation piece. It can, it can be customized. But um, uh, a lot of boat dealers give away, you buy a boat, you get something with their logo on it. This is what we're hoping that uh, folks will substitute those other gifts for something that's very practical. Well, we will actually we have, we'll have a website. It's under construction currently. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. Uh, we'll let you know all the events which we're attending. And we're down here at the lake virtually every weekend. My wife is a teacher, and she's the president of the company. And my two daughters are involved in the operations and, and sales, of course. And um, so we're down here a lot, but we'll have uh, on our Facebook account you know, where we'll be and, and when. And uh, uh, we can also be reached. We've got uh, uh, email addresses, info at delsoulboatlighting.com. And uh, phone numbers are 573-999-9192. And I'd also like to add that these are proudly made in Missouri. Um, they're actually uh, cut and sewn in Rocky Mount, Missouri. They are embroidered in uh, Sunrise Beach. And final assembly, my garage in Columbia, Missouri, so far. And I'd like to introduce my family if I could. Uh, the president of Dull Soul Boat Lighting is my wife, Liz Hervey. Hi. This is our oldest daughter, Allie. Hi. And our younger daughter, Grace. Hi, I'm Joanne Clark with Hydra Hoist Boat Lifts here at Lake of the Ozarks, and we're at the Dog Days Boat Show, our in-water show for the April, and it seems like our weather's cooperating this year for us, so come on down. Um, the Hydra Hoist has been in business since 1965. We've been selling boat lifts, and we have boat lifts all the way up to 32,000 pounds. We also have drive-on platforms for your personal watercraft. The new three-seaters out there are quite heavy and, and long, and so we've introduced the HP2 XL to handle those models. Um, they handle them quite nicely. We've got a color choice of blue or tan, so whichever one you would like, we've got them in stock. You can come by and pick them up, or we can come out there and install them for you. It's your option. Um, we knew this year we've introduced some bow guides and a corner bumper which is helpful with your boat lifts um, to kind of tell you where the center of that slip is. So that's a very nice um, accessory that we've added to our product line this year. Um, I'm located in Lynn Creek, Missouri, right on Highway 54 in between Camdenton and Osage Beach. So we're in the Blue Stucco Building, Blue Roof, right next to the taxidermy shop. So if you're driving by, stop in and see us. We'd love to help you with all of your boat lift needs. You can call me on 1-800-259-7532. Our local number is 573-346-7505. You can always email me at jclark, J-C-L-A-R-K, at boatlift.com, or visit us on our website at boatlift.com. Hi, my name is Austin French with Iguana Water Sports. Give us a call this summer for all your boating needs. We've got every type of boat imaginable for rent, between wakeboard boats, tri-tunes, cruisers, speed boats, uh, wave runners. We also run out tubes, wakeboards, skis, all that kind of stuff. We've got three conveniently located locations around the lake. We've got one at the zero mile marker, the five mile marker, and one at the 18 mile marker right beside backwater jacks. So to rent from us, just call and make a reservation at 888 365 23 Nine, nine. And we're also inside of our locations this year. We're going to be offering wakeboards, skis, tubes, all that stuff for sale. So before we just rent them out, but this year we're going to be um, knocking it up a little bit more and going to be selling all that kind of stuff. And also, if you don't have someone to drive your boat, we've got a captain service called Who's Your Captain? Give them a call for all your boating needs for if you need a designated driver or just want someone to drive you and the family around the lake if you're not very experienced. Um, another thing that we have is wakeboard lessons this summer with Kirby School of Wake. 
Um, if you want to learn to ride like a pro, call Kirby School Wake, or you can call us and we'll give you his number as well. Um, so call us for all your boating needs, and we look forward to seeing you guys out there this summer. Um, and don't forget our party barge this summer is going to be half off Monday through Thursday. And that holds up to 25 people, has a slide, a uh, surround stereo system, a restroom, everything you need to have fun out there on the water. Hi, Captain Dave from Towboat US here at Lake the Ozarks. Uh, we're at the beautiful uh, Dog Days Boat Show here, uh, the Marine Dealer Association show. It's a beautiful day. We're uh, just going to tell you a little bit about what we do and uh, how we can help you out. Uh, we provide uh, 24 hour a day, seven day a week uh, assistance on the water for uh, any kind of boating related emergency, anything from a simple jump start to if you run out of gas to uh, if you need to be towed in, uh, we'll come get you and do that too. We, uh, like I said, we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We, uh, the best deal is we have a, a membership uh, in Boat, U Boat US that's uh, $67 a year. That covers you 100% anywhere on the water here at the lake. It's actually a nationwide program. We just deal with Lake the Ozarks, but it's good anywhere in the country. Uh, for that $67, doesn't matter where you're at, we'll come get you, get you home, make it, get you home safe. Uh, it's a great plan. Uh, it's a great service. Uh, even if you don't have the plan, we're more than happy to come take care of you. You just got a little more money out of pocket. Our uh, phone number, if you need to get a hold of us, is 573-216-4701. Or you can visit us on the web at uh, laketow.blogspot.com. RJ, you have to be pleased with the first boat show, in-water boat show of the season, eh? I tell you what, you know, weather this spring's been a little difficult, but the boat show comes and it's a great weekend and tons of people came out for it. Sunshine opened up for us and it ended up being a really good time. It's got to be a good omen for the rest of the season, don't you think? I tell you what, this jump starts our season every year, so it's great to get it in, get all these people here, see what we've done to the place, get our food back in their system, and we're ready to go. So what can lo people look forward to in the season to come here at Dog Days? Well, we got all the same events back next uh, this year. We got the in-water boat show. We got Aquapalooza. We got the Canine Cannonball. We're a big part of the bike week, so a lot of things going on. This is only April, and it's like you're not off to a crawling start, a running start, right? That's right. We got to get going. You know, all these people, and it's a good time. Yeah, well, weather like this makes you ready, rip raring to go, doesn't it? I tell you what, we're ready. Uh, two weeks and. It's the, uh, the harbor hop, so we're ready to go. I know it. It goes by so fast. We're listening to a little music play in the background, which I wanted to go ahead and bring up. You can always hear some pretty good live music here at Dog Days. Always. Uh, we start out on Wednesday nights with the uh, country music showdown. The Brother Robertsons were the state winners all the way, went all the way to the national finals this year. So got them back, and it'll be a good time. Well, it, it, I'm ready to go. It makes me ready to come on over to Dog Days, listen to the music, watch the water, watch the boats come in and out, and I know you are too, but it means a lot of work. Have you had time to catch your breath yet? Oh, yeah, it was a great winter, and we're ready to go. I've got all the whole staff ready to go, and we've got some great people this year, so come on out and see us. Well, I've already gotten to enjoy one of your your bacon and blue cheeseburgers this year, so I'm looking forward to many more of those to come along with the rest of your menu. you got some good eats here at Dog Days. Well, thank you. Thank you.